Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. For those who are returning, it's good to have you back. I'm Shababs and in this video we're gonna check out one of TP-Link's budget adapter, the TLWN822N Wi-Fi adapter. As you can see, this is not exactly an unbox. Besides, this product has been in the market for quite some years now. But more, what we're gonna do is a review and how to set up the adapter. We're gonna go over the installing of the driver and the program. Before we continue, this is not only an unbox, but also a tutorial channel and what you might know, others might not know. So keep the comments polite so we might all benefit from each other. And without further ado, let's get started. The TP-Link TLWN822N claims to offer not only full dual stream 300 Mbps performance but superior range courtesy of its twin high gain 3DVI external antennas. On the box supposedly it supports Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1 and uh, maybe even Windows 10, but I'm gonna use it in a Windows 11 operating system. If you try this in your system and it doesn't work, you can get newer certified drivers from TP-Link's website. Other principal features includes WPS compatible and more specs in the box if you need them. Let's check out what you should receive in a box. Remember, this is not exactly an unboxing, but just to show what you should receive in a package and ultimately how it works. It comes well packaged with the adapter, which is not that good looking with a single large green status light. The USB comes out in the front which isn't very elegant. A WPS compatible one touch connect system and two adjustment antennas that can rotate 180 degrees and can be folded making it quite portable. That's a plus. A 1.5 meter USB cable and 8 centimeter utility mini CD with the drivers and finally a quick installation guide. My test environment is a domestic setup with a router on my desk in my office. There are two rooms with basically four brick walls between the router and where the setup is for the test. And this is the Wi-Fi range of my PC at this very moment, only two bars. In total, I'm about 10 meters approximately from where the router is set up. Remember, I'm gonna use this on a Windows 11 operating system just to see if it will work. Now, the first step is connect the adapter and your computer with the provided USB cable, which I just did. You should see the light blinking on the adapter. In your case, depending on your system, you may see the found new hardware wizard after the adapter has been inserted. Please click cancel. I'm going to connect on the other USB ports. The first port is a 2.0 port and this next one is a 3.0 port. You should see the adapter blinking. One more thing to do to confirm that the connection is okay is go to settings, then Bluetooth and devices, and then devices. From here, other devices and we see the computer does detect the adapter. If I remove the adapter, you stop seeing it on the screen. So I connect again and it is now visible. Normally we should see the new hardware wizard, but well, we haven't seen it yet. So I'm back to where I'm gonna need the Wi-Fi adapter. And even though the PC detected the adapter, it's still not working as there are still two bars shown here. Fluctuating, but it's still two bars. We're thus gonna proceed and install the software. The installation procedures in Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP are similar, but if you have any doubt, just go ahead and insert the TP-Link resource CD into the CD-ROM drive. Most computers nowadays don't come with a CD-ROM drive. My laptop doesn't come with a CD-ROM drive, but I bought an external CD-ROM drive. Another alternative, if you don't have a CD-ROM drive, is to go to the TP-Link webpage. You can find software for Windows, Mac, and even Linux system there. Just go directly to support, then downloads, then drivers. You can then proceed to download the necessary software. You can also just type the name of your model, then go to support, choose driver for either Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on your operating system, and download. Open the file or CD and you have this pop-up. We have three models the WNA21N, the WNA22N, or 
and the WN823N. Choose the appropriate model and choose Install Driver and Utility. Then click on Browse City. In my case, you'll be prompted if you want to allow the app to install the program. Click on Yes or Confirm. The Install Shield Wizard window will appear. Click Next to continue. If the adapter is not already connected to the PC or laptop, you will be prompted to connect it. Click Yes to continue. Select Install TP-Link Wireless Configuration Utility and Driver and then click Next. Click Change to specify the destination location or you can leave it as default. Click Next to continue. Now you click on Install to install the driver and utility for your driver. The drivers and utility will install and this may take approximately one to two minutes. The following screen will then appear. Click finish to complete the setup. After installation, the configuration page will pop up on your desk. We're gonna close the app for now, but just in case you wanna log back in, there is an icon on your desktop. Double clicking on the icon can start the utility. Network in the tools section, which is right here on top, will display a list of available wireless network. Just double click on the network name you're trying to connect to. If the network is unsecured, you will directly connect to it. If it is security enabled, there are two ways to connect to it. You can either input the security key into the field beside security key and click OK to continue. Or without entering a key, just push the WPS button on your router if prompted to. And you can also connect by pushing the button on the adapter. Then click OK to continue. To view more information about Network Connected, click Status in the Tools section. Definitely, there are quite a few things good about this. The range on this is very good. I use it for my PC, which is about 4 volts from my router, and I get maximum signal strength. It is very easy to set up. Literally, just plug it into your computer. It should detect it automatically as a network adapter. There are cases where you don't have to install any drivers to make it work, but you might need to if your computer doesn't detect it automatically, as is in my case. Another thing is, it is very small and portable. The antenna when even get in your way and lastly it reaches the maximum speed available which is 100 mbps for browsing the internet streaming videos and music and general stuff i would recommend it but if you're looking to use this for gaming then i can't really say but price and size are a plus if you're strapped for cash then it's definitely good enough to use for anything i appreciate your time watching this video if you have any questions leave them below also let me know what you think about the tp link model tl wna22n wi-fi adapter in the comment section or if you already have any experiences you would like to share if you like the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to receive a notification every time we upload new videos thank you for watching and as always catch you guys in the next one.